Okay, so my first droid is complete. First pit droid. And I'd have to say, I freaking love it. This was just a test print. I plan on doing more in the future. I'll do another print. I was going for the raw look, um, but printing on all on the X1 carbon. I did consider a mixing printers, but I just went all X1 carbon. The only th downside to this printer is the, the build play size. So I've had to do a few bits, well, two bits and pieces really, or a few bits. And you can see, but obviously there's no touching up or anything. So like in this um, torso, this like chest piece as well. And interestingly, I really struggled on matching these up. I need a bigger clamp to hold it down. So it obviously came apart a bit as I tried to glue, but actually I kind of like it. It looks like a little war wound. So I like it. And then I put a light in the front, just one of these uh, bamboo lab uh, LED lamp kits. So that comes down and I've just glued it on the back there for now. Quite cool. I haven't seen many people saying they've done these on the X1 card and I'm sure they have only looked for a couple of minutes. So I thought I'd uh, go through a few of the things that I did, like some of the settings, what I did with the slicer, etc. Hopefully it'll help someone else or inspire them to do it. So it is raw again, as I've said. like. I thought I was okay with like um, supports and stuff, but actually I, I still need to learn some work on here. So I've sanded that a little bit, but I don't plan on finishing this. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Just wear and tear, you know, no one's really gonna see the back of it anyway. But yeah, I'm used to printing small stuff. So something like this, it's a whole different game. I did notice with this bit here as well. So the way the guy who did the design did it and bloody kudos to him because he did a great job. But I just went with the default orientation when I pulled it in. So it printed it like that. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but if you look at it, because the layer lines are going a different way, the colors are different. So this was originally on there and it, it was a different tone. I should have thought about it, but I, like I said, I'm used to printing small stuff. So I didn't, I didn't think about it at all, really. So I reprinted that bit. And then I had a few problems where I had to put brims on and stuff. And to be fair, he does say that in the instructions, but I ignored it. But yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, let me know what you think. I've um, seen quite a few of them online. I'm obviously going to do another one of these and some other ones. But it feels like quite an achievement doing something like this. Here you can uh, better see the issues that I had with the lens. Actually, believe it or not, this is one of the better attempts when I tried doing this in the Bamboo Lab Translucent Pet G. It was awful. At least this is quite consistent. I actually don't mind it. I think a clear one would look nicer, but actually I'm quite fine with it. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I don't think there's much else I can show you here. Excuse the mess. I'll show you a bit more underneath so you can see. It's a really detailed model. It's really good. And you know, it's all it all all moving parts, the thing, fingers and thumbs. There's two model versions on the thumb as well, so you can have it so it's fixed in place or moving. All of these joints. I didn't bother printing the base. Perhaps I should to make it a little bit more sturdy. I've got him resting a bit against here. Yeah, stand on his own, but I just want a little bit of support. You know, it won't go wrong for it. And I do have a few bits on here where it's 
not quite as slick or smooth as I'd like. But it was just the first test print for me anyway, so I didn't go, you know, too, too strict on the quality. I'll just lift this up as well so you can see it. Oh, sorry. So uh, I've just used the glue gun to stick these together. I did try super glue, but actually it, I got a bit impatient with it waiting. I thought since it's a test one, I'll just use a glue gun. Actually worked pretty well, apart from on this bit, because I didn't have a big enough clamp. But actually for the rest of it, it worked pretty well. And this has got just some magnets on here. So it just goes on nicely. Yeah. Let me know what you think. What colour should I go next? I think I really like this colour, which is also the um, Bamboo Lab Metal one. I got a nice one. So um, I didn't keep the box. Oh yeah, I did. There we go. That one there. And then I had the sort of grey one that came out more black. But I'm thinking replace the black with this next time. What do you think? I think actually the black looks quite good, but in the other colour it would be a bit more rusty perhaps. Might look good. Okay, when you download the files, it's all broken down into multiple different sections like head, feet, legs, hips, torso, etc. I've split them, well, I've kept them based on these fol this folder structure, but I've just appended the number of the order I printed the bits in. So um, I did start with head, I printed all those bits, but I didn't put them together until later on. But um, it's it's quite obvious what you're printing, so it's nice. It gives you um, an easy way to sort of distinguish where the parts are. I did find some of the other parts, like the dowels and stuff, were like tucked away in one of these. So you'll see them in one of them, but also you might want to um, just check in all the folders because there is a smaller one which I found was more applicable to some. And even some of the smaller ones I had to trim them down a little bit, but uh, not the end of the world, quite easy. When you find it, it all makes sense. So when you come in the folders, you can see it's broken down. You've got details, alternative versions, etc. I'm not going to go into all that detail because it's quite obvious. Um, and also if you print it you'll have them you can just explore to your heart's content although if you are intrigued to see more let me know and I will do another video on it but the smaller printer one it just takes like the dome splits into two front and back and then you can see I've done this for each each one of those um, folders I've just literally created a plate dragged them on and I've put like a few dowels and that on. So this is what I was talking about. These ones here are quite long, but these ones down here are smaller. So I've put different ones on. And that's all good. This little layer was good. When I found I was printing the legs, I put two legs on or two part of the upper legs on at the same time. I wish I'd just done them separate. Particularly with the smaller items, a brim is very helpful and I went with the 0.08mm high, it went for high quality so I know it took longer, it took me a good couple of weeks to print this on one printer. I was tempted to use the A1 as well but I stuck with the X1 because I thought I'll just do one solid machine and then maybe on the next one I'll split the load. Uh, main settings I changed really was the, I created a little droid one here so actually show I can show you the differences on what I had I just uh, I don't know it's not gonna work for me I thought I could I changed the wall loops um, the infill pattern I went gyroid for some of the taller objects I found I had to really slow it down as well so on the speed I just like cranked it right down to like 30 millimeters per second because otherwise it seemed to just knock them over because they're quite tall and also quite narrow sometimes and that was mostly when I got to the hands the hands is where I saw that and then support I just put an head to brim on most of the time um, 
sorry, uh, yeah, out of, out of brim on that. For the support, now I've mixed and matched on here, and I always thought I was okay with supports, but because I'm printing smaller stuff, it's a different ball game. So I had to mix between normal and tree on this. Um, I've just got a lot to learn on that front, I think. So obviously a bit naive on that front, doing the smaller stuff, sort of getting a grip, getting a handle of what you'd normally do on this bigger stuff, trying to maintain a nice finish on it and everything, it wasn't quite so uh, so clear cut as I'm used to. So another good reason for me doing this, apart from having a cool end result, is that I get to learn more, continually teaching yourself more and learning more. It's all part of the enjoyment of this hobby, I guess, this expensive hobby. Yeah, there's not much else I changed really. Um, it's all single colour prints, so there's no like colour swapping on it. Uh, part of me now really wishes I could print these whole because I just think it would look so much nicer, these top parts and and the torso. So I can't wait to see what Bamboo Lab bring out next year. Disappointing it's been delayed but I can't wait to see it. I may have to save up and get that new bigger machine then or I have to be quite honest the K2 Max from Creality is sorry K2 Plus from Creality is looking really tempting. The only thing it puts me off is the uh, same with the X1 Carbon really it's just so slow printing multicolor on those machines because it's a single head. If you've got something like the Prusa XL for example that's that sort of theory and that approach to it I really like but it's an ugly looking machine isn't it and like if you put an enclosure on it it's even bigger and uglier uh, I say that I still want one I still love it but I'm gonna wait and see what Bamboo Lab come out with um, if I did get a K2 Max or something I'd probably just stick to single color if I do stuff like this anyway so maybe it's not, maybe it's a mute point really Anyway, I hope that gives you a bit of insight into what I've done and how it works, what you get. These lenses are still my biggest failure really. I've tried printing like a glass PLA, I've tried printing translucent PLA, translucent PETG. I've just got nowhere on it. This, so they're quite opaque on my uh, end result, which I'll show you again in a minute. but. Uh, I still think it looks alright and especially when you got the lamp on it, it just looks fine.